Meat Boy is back because today we are making a healthy version of Philly cheesesteaks by using high quality organic ingredients. You guys are allowed to make fun of my eyes with proof of purchase from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Otherwise, you will be banned. Simple as that. Okay? Simple as that. That's how it is. Uh, so let me show you guys the ingredients. Now, the main reason I'm even doing this is because we recently got shaved beef on Frankie's Free Range Meat, which is just really, really thinly sliced. Uh, you guys will see that. We have some beef stock concentrate, raw milk, American cheddar. Uh, you could use mozzarella. That would be great. We have that. Uh, we should have the Emmentaler back in stock uh, next week, which is a Swiss cheese. Honestly, cheddar might be a little uh, not classic for a Philly cheesesteak, but it'll still be delicious. Uh, we baked some homemade bread yesterday. I forgot to shape it like a, a Philly cheesesteak roll, but this will do whatever high quality organic bread you have access to. And we just got some salt, Frankie's Range meat, and then we'll put a little bit of oil in the pan. If you don't have this, uh, you would just probably take some ribeye or some steak and slice it as, as thin as possible, but it's kind of hard to get this texture. So we got our pan on medium high heat. We're just gonna put in some oil. Get this nice and hot. So one pound of meat is a lot for a sandwich. You can definitely make at least two, three, even four with this. Uh, we're gonna take about one third of it. So one third of the beef, keep it whole like a chunk for now and put it on a towel to dry out the outside. So we quickly pat dry the outside. Season the outside with a sprinkle of salt. And now that the outside is dry and we have a very hot pan, it should be super fast to get a nice crust. Now normally these Philly cheesesteak places have these really heavy duty steel grills where they like chop the beef up. We can't really do that here because you'll destroy your pan. But after about 30 seconds, you should have a lot of browning on that side. So we check the other side too. Nice amount of caramelization. I'm just pushing this down against the pan to get more surface contact with the heat and moving it around so that I can absorb heat from all parts of the pan. And once you're satisfied with the amount of color on the beef, this is good for me. We're gonna pour in some of our beef stock concentrate. We also have the collagen broth on Frankie's Range Meat. This is just a really, really concentrated, flavorful, high gelatin beef stock. So after we add that, kind of deglazes the pan, we're gonna turn the heat down. And this is where we go in with two forks or utensils and we, we break apart the shredded beef. Because again, we don't have that heavy duty steel grate, we can't just like chop this up. But since it's already shaved, it'll come apart really easily. This was already sliced on the machine. We just kept it together so we could get a nice crust without overcooking the meat. So now here, we're gonna put another sprinkling of salt on. Try to reduce this a little bit. If you like your meat rare, you would stop here. Put some cheese on it, steam the cheese and put it on the sandwich. Uh, we're gonna go a little more traditional and actually cook the meat. <laughs> this is just the raw milk cheddar Frankie Strange meat. We have so many videos on cheeses and how nutritious high quality cheese can be if you guys just want to search Frank Tofano cheese on the YouTube channel. I thought I bought a cheese grater, apparently not. So we're gonna have to microplane some cheese, which actually might melt a lot easier. It's just gonna take some time. Traditionally, cheese whiz is very popular, a highly processed, basically liquid cheese that comes in a can. Uh, I've seen them use provolone I've seen mozzarella used, but from a classic perspective, I'm pretty sure it's provolone or cheese whiz, which obviously is not acceptable from a dietary perspective. And again, there's personal preference to this. You know, if you want a lot of cheese, you want a little cheese, you want to put onions and peppers on it. I'm just showing you guys how to get a good quality of base ingredients so you'll feel good and be healthy when eating it. You guys can see the stock kind of thickened up a bit. We almost have a nice jus here. So it's not rocket science, guys. We're just gonna put our, our cheese on top. So we'll kill the heat, cover this. 
Now this bread I make is so dense that we're gonna have to hollow it out. We got a lot of bread recipes too. Whether you guys want something quick overnight with organic instant yeast, or you wanna spend three days like a lunatic fermenting sourdough, it's up to you. You know, when you get bread from the store, even if it's organic, sometimes there's like low quality, well, most of the time actually, you know, they're using tap water, fluoridated water in it. That's the main issue with store-bought bread. Don't worry guys, I'm eating this, so I ensure that I have a lump of gluten in my stomach. So that's our final product, guys. Just a bunch of beef, cheese, and meat juices. Who doesn't love that? So I'm just gonna scoop it out, put it on the bread. These sandwiches are almost always a mess, so, you know, don't feel like, uh, well, actually this is not messy compared to the Philly cheesesteaks I've seen. So I'm just gonna pour that juice and that's that's what makes this philly cheesesteak special is the way we got that caramelization by leaving the meat clumped up and by adding a little bit of beef stock almost making like a glaze to put on top normally when they chop it on the grill you know they're not getting like really deep caramelized colors flavors and uh, the complexity from just the quality of the ingredients and that beef stock is really going to make a difference it doesn't really count as a diagonal cut if the the bread is round right could definitely cook the bread a little more but Looks good. Philly cheesesteak, obvious star of the show, but I also have some garlic dill pickles. We're gonna test these to see if that customer who said they were over fermented was right. And I have some organic coconut oil fried sea salt and vinegar chips, both courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Foods. Fuji water here. If you guys stick around, I'll show you a little bonus what supplements I'm currently taking with every single meal. But let's try the cheesesteak. Looks good. The fact that we added that much salt to it, it makes it so reminiscent of like the fast food cravings you want. If you guys follow these instructions, you'll be so happy with how this turns out. I mean, to me, feel the cheesesteaks taste a lot like a cheeseburger, but to me, the texture is more enjoyable because like shaved beef is nicer to eat than like ground meat. Very good. I mean, so good. So we did get a little hiss when we opened the dill pickles, but that's probably because they've been sitting at room temperature on my counter for like a week because I'm too lazy to test them. They smell pretty good, maybe a little strong. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you were right. Um, I'm glad we refunded all the pickles and we'll have a fresh batch for you guys in two weeks. No deal pickles with lunch today. Anyway, so that's strike one. Are we gonna? Have strike two with the chips. These are so good, bro. I don't bring these home. You guys don't see me eat these because I will down the whole bag. So we have Wagyu beef fat right now that are available in sea salt and mushroom. And then the coconut, I think we have all three flavors, sea salt, mushroom, and, and vinegar. It's just nice to be able to eat something normal, you know? You can't buy any potato chips from the store that are actually healthy. These? Very nice. So with our lunch, uh, from Organ Supplements, we have two vitamin B1. We have two vitamin B3. We're taking three masticum. Now well, a few extra fell out, so we'll take four or whatever. Uh, two zinc and one molybdenum. Uh, so the B vitamins are to alleviate the carbohydrate consumption. The masticum is to kind of ease H. pylori, any gut issues. And then the zinc and molybdenum are what you need to take every meal if you have copper toxicity. So thank you guys for joining. All the meat and food products you can get on frankiesurangemeat.com as well as frankiesurangefoods.com. Supplements on OregonSupplements.com. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch and then quickly edit this because 
power's been going out, kind of a mess over here in PA, so sorry for the delay, but hope you guys enjoy this. Mm -hmm.